Hey, Maggie. Uh, I just, I've always sort of liked you, and, and I thought maybe this year you- You set my backpack on fire with an arrow last year. It was family history day, and I brought the only photograph in existence of my great-grandfather on the day he came to America. The photograph is now nothing but ash. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to be different this year, though, so- uh, hey, just, you know, checking in. I still haven't opened my locker because I have an actual phobia of raccoons being in things now. Richard, I'm being suffocated by the man that I once was. Like in Logan. Or A Bug's Life. Oh, that's, uh, that sucks. Okay, so listen, I have a raccoon cage in my backpack. Do I need it, or...? I spent all summer just really looking at myself and thinking about who I am, and, and I didn't like it, and so I changed, and, and now nobody believes me. I totally get that, I understand. Uh, on the other hand, you've done unforgivable things to everyone here. Yeah, but I keep saying I won't do stuff like that anymore. But you, you did. I don't know. I guess I'll just keep telling everybody I'm different and stay off Principal Bubhole's radar. Greg Harley, you're on Principal Bubhole's radar, you son of a gun. Come here. I, you don't know where I am. I'm in the hallway. Come to the hallway, you little bum. Ah. All right, Greg, why don't you go ahead and explain this? Oh, wow. Yeah, that is horrifying. That is an image that is sticking with me for a very long time. All right, what's, what's horrifying is knowing that a student in the school built by my father, Red Bubhole, could not only set off an exploding prank sack in my office, but also turn a man back into a skeleton the way we were born. Wait, it exploded? Wait, who is that? Who was that? Don't play dumb, Greg Harley. The jaw structure, those eye sockets, the slight wear at the base of the tibia, that's everyone's favorite science teacher, Mr. Humphrey. How could you, Greg? He made learning fun. He wore silly shirts and ties. He had that mug, Greg, that mug. It said cobalt fluorine iron on it. That smells out coffee. Hang on, you all think that I murdered Mr. Humphrey, took out his skeleton, and put it up there on the wall in, in green goo? I mean, it looks like a monster did this. Are we not? No one else is thinking monster? Coffee, uh, like on the periodic table, if you took the symbols, it spells out coffee. That's very funny, Greg. And you took that away from us. Principal Bubhole, please. I promise that I am a good kid now. Good I kids don't put skeletons in wall goo, Greg. Usually good kids don't have anything to do with skeletons. Fine. You just want a bad kid again? Principal Butthole? That doesn't even make any sense! You were right about it all. Is that what you want to hear? It's just me, Greg Harley, the bad kid, never changing. I knew it! Ha ha! Ha! Detention! Detention, Greg Harley! And it's celebration of me solving the mystery of the prank sack and the skeleton. And in honor of everyone's favorite science teacher, Mr. Humphrey, there's a pizza party in the gym! I'm so happy you're a murderer, Greg! I called the police, by the way. They're coming. They'll put you in jail forever, likely. Ha ha ho! Wow, what a good day.